Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. I'm going to show how you can use a Smartsheet report to combine data from multiple sheets and then create a sheet from this report. The sheet can then be used to create more complex metrics than can be calculated in just a report. This workspace has three project plans in it. All three are connected to a report. This report shows tasks from all three plans where the assigned to column is not blank. The data is grouped by task status and is summarized by the count of each status. This is probably not a super meaningful metric, but stick with me. This video isn't about creating useful metrics or KPIs. As you know, you can take a report like this and create a chart on a dashboard. The benefit to this method is that the chart will update automatically as the underlying data changes. The disadvantage is that you can't use the summaries, like the count here, that are calculated in a report in a metric widget on the dashboard. Nor can you calculate more complex metrics in this report. Now let's take a look at another dashboard. It has a metric widget showing an employee and which projects they are assigned to. In addition, there's a chart showing how many tasks each employee has in a given status across the portfolio of projects. Both of these dashboards are using data from the report. It's just that the second dashboard has taken the report data from a sheet. This sheet is being updated periodically from the data in the report using the Smarter Report to Sheet Manager. How does this work? Let's see. This is the control panel. It is very simple and intuitive. Simply choose the source report and the destination sheet. The configuration will run periodically. Continuously is the most frequent and it runs about every 20 minutes. You also can run once a day or once a week. Additionally, you can choose to run the configuration manually to immediately update the destination sheet from the source report. Looking again at the destination sheet, notice it has the same columns as a report and an additional column named calculation column. I wanted to show that you can have additional columns with formulas in the destination sheet. This formula that takes the sheet name, as in the task name, and the status. And you can add other columns as needed as well. There is no limit to the amount of columns that you can add other than the normal smart sheet limits. Same goes for the cell limit. Next is a metric sheet. Note that it is bad practice to use a contact column in a smart sheet lookup formula, but I made this example quickly. This sheet is calculating the number of tasks in a given status assigned to each employee across the portfolio of projects. Now let's assign some tasks to Antonio in project plan three. Now let's manually run the report to sheet configuration to avoid waiting during the demo. Let's refresh the metric sheet. And look at that, the metric sheet now shows that Antonio is assigned to project three. And this is reflected on the dashboard too. There is so much more you can do when you're able to export report data to a sheet. I'll leave it to your imagination to dream something up. To find out more about this add-on, reach out at smartsheetguru.com contact or follow the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.